Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to discuss about Kamunda 8 custom connectors or maybe we can call it as our own connectors, right? So why we need custom connectors first of all, right? So when you want to reuse your logic or when you want to do the logic of integrating with a different system, right? or when different system want to integrate with your Kamunda process, right? So these kind of use cases, when you want to commonly design some code and you want to publish into your organization and whoever is drawing that Kamunda modeler, they can pick that design and they can utilize simply, right? So these kind of use cases, we will go for a connector and custom connectors basically, right? So you know all already in the last video, we discussed about out-of-box connectors, right? So if you think over it, so what is the purpose of out-of-box connectors? When you want to integrate with some system, for example, if you are doing with your WhatsApp, if you are doing with your MS team, if you are doing with your S3 file read, right? So there is a lot of out-of-box connectors are available to use the common logic right is a generic logic where globally the developer will use it out so they publish that you can simply go and pick the connectors and you can implement their logic maybe within few minutes right so now you just think over it you have your own logic your organization having some some own logic or some own system but many of the modeler i mean many of the workflow system Kamunda workflow system utilizing the logic writing their own code maybe okay in this kind of stuff you can write the common logic you can publish it people can simply use that logic I mean use the uh, connector to gather the uh, logic I mean uh, utilize the logic whatever you you did it in the connector level right they can use it out maybe with the help of single click with a very minimal code right so so this is the purpose of custom connectors okay basically so here kamunda is giving one of the beautiful steps right to build the custom connectors so they are giving this template code to you so see this is the code you you just do the business logic and you just publish it so all of your organization can use it out so they are giving this kind of features in the connector level okay so to build the connector custom connector so okay there is a two-step process okay so one is connector sdk so the connector sdk is nothing but very simple maven project where you will have your business logic you will written any java code right it is so for example uh, for example i will tell you so if i if my connector want to interact with a different system uh, whenever the runtime i am getting some url and the url has to be hitted and i should consume that value right for example rest rest template i need to use it out here right so here you can simply put the rest template in your java code whatever kamunda is providing in the kamunda connector sdk you can simply put that and you can publish the code you can run your code so people can simply pass the url at runtime automatically this logic will execute it in the backend that it will do that okay and second step is connected template connected template is nothing but if you remember in the modular level you will choose the whatsapp connector my ms teams connector or whatever it may be right same way for example if i want to publish one connector name as tech bus blocks connector okay so i need to design the connector in the web modeler right giving for example whenever i'm giving the connector it should uh, it should accept a input as uh, a couple of fields maybe the input url and few other stuff right get api or post api i need to choose all the stuff in the property panel in the connector property panel right in the web modeler itself in the modeler itself basically right so these kind of these all fall under the connected template okay so make it very simple two step one it is connected sdk where you will write your java implementation logic and connector sdk this is just a designing part where you are going to get the properties from the de designing phase and you are sending that property into your connector sdk to do the business logic basically okay this is the 
two steps we need you need to follow it to build your custom connectors okay i will show you few documentation from the kamunda side itself okay what they are proposing kamunda 8 connectors right so i'll i'll simply go to the documentation first of all okay kamunda 8 docs i'll i'll go the step by step you can simply search like this and you can go here you can go for a component under that you can find the connectors and see you can see the building custom connectors if you click here you can see their connector sdk and connector templates whatever we saw just few minutes back right now so first you need to think over it how to build the connector sdk i mean how to build the connector sdk so if you just click that they are giving very detailed description how to do that okay if you scroll down maybe reading one by one and if you scroll down you know that already kamunda is having two types of connectors one is outbound and inbound right so they do have the support of both on outbound and inbound custom connector as well okay so if you want to build your outbound custom connectors right you can simply click this link it will redirect to the github basically you you, you can see you can see in the down right you can see here whenever i am moving here it will go for a github let me click that and open it okay so if you if you okay this is the file this is the project you need to download it i will i will show you in the next video what is this project and line uh, file by file okay but but just right now just keep it it's uh, this is the way you need to proceed it okay if you want to go for inbound you can click here and you can download it from here okay so this is the step which you need to do in the as a back end implementation right so then the connector templates right the connector templates you know that as i mentioned this is just a front end designing code right whatever we need to do that so before that maybe quickly i'll go through that back end code okay few within a minute okay so if you go here uh, under src right main java my connector function this is the main class okay which is is, is going to uh, interact as a your main class and this is the type which is going to connect with your front end code i mean front end design the templates right so if you if you see here so they are clearly mentioning here this is the place you need to write your custom logics okay implement connector logic okay so then how to run this connector from locally yes you have the option of that as well if you go to source under test right and resource if you go here you can put your maybe if you are using sas you can put the uh, properties you basically you will download it whenever you are creating the apis right so how you will do the uh, normal spring boot application those properties you need to keep it here okay then if you go under the test if you go you can local connector runtime if you go inside that it is very kind of simple spring boot application once you run it it will automatically pick the main uh, main fold main package and it will run your main class my connector function okay so this is the way you can run it locally if you want to run it okay so that is completely fine and the front end this is the first step you need to do that and the second step step is connected template so for connected template is nothing but a json design basically right if you, if you go to the modeler maybe if i quickly uh, show you what is template basically if i go to simply any bpm and file right so here we we, we are basically choosing that right so the uh, amazon sqs or uh, aws dynamo db for example if i choosing microsoft teams right this is the logo they are giving it okay and this is all the property panel they are giving for the microsoft teams right so this is kind of a template okay so the template design yes you can do it you can simply go here and you can connect a template you can click it right you you can design all that you can put all the properties over here and you can simply publish it while publishing it is specific to the project or organization level you can you can choose that okay this this all about connector okay the first step is downloading the back end code and you can do the logic and running it second step is doing the design from your modeler adding all the json properties and everything to 
to do the json properties it is very simple if you if you go here kamunda 8 connectors github okay for for a simple example right you don't know how to uh, build my json properties don't worry about it go to this link and go to the connectors see here you can find for example whatsapp connectors right they have it so what json properties they are having if you go inside the element templates you can find it out right so this is the json properties they are they are keeping it so for example if i want to show you what's up whenever you are clicking you can see that authentication payload response mapping error handling right so these all the templates are coming these all coming from this json file only basically okay this was published already and they are keeping it for reference in the github as well you can you can find it over here and you can build your own file as well with the help of the format of json nothing else you you can find it here right the format of json how you need to do that okay so i'll tell you how what is uh, this this group is nothing but whatever you are seeing it over here the authentication payload response mapping is a group so in, then inside the group each group having the implementation part right so authentication is a group then they are preparing the properties until under property section okay i'll i'll show you in the next video how to create our own custom connector i mean let me create our own custom connector and we'll run over it okay so that step you can watch it in my next video okay thanks guys thanks for watching